Hey guys, GJ here. Um, if you follow me over from my DeviantArt account, you probably know me as GJ Wolf. If you're following me on YouTube, I'm Fantastic Mr. Wolf. And uh, what we're doing today, we're going to make some fake blood. And I've already made uh, about 16 cups of it. And, uh, okay, more than that. I've made a lot of fake blood today. And uh, I decided to show everyone else how, just so that they know if they need to make massive amounts of blood. And it actually doesn't look too bad. So, what I want to do first, this is just cornstarch. You're going to take eighth of a cup. Alright? Just dump that in there. Next, you're going to want to add your water. If you don't do this, it's going to get all lumpy and it's going to look like complete crap. So, add a little bit of water in there. Four tablespoons. And then just mix that in there. Alright, so it should look something like that right now. I got a little bit of red food coloring in there from uh, the previous batches that I made. Uh, so it probably won't be pink, it should be like, well, what cornstarch looks like in water. But, let's see, I'm going to try not to drop the camera in there. Get an interesting view if I do, but uh, I don't think I have to get, get the camera back very easily. So, that's what it should look like, make sure it's not all lumpy or anything. All right, so now that you added in the cornstarch, now comes the uh, little more easy part. All you're going to have to do, buy some corn syrup. Buy it just about anywhere. This is like two bucks. It's 32 ounces, so four cups. And uh, if you're wanting to just do the... Uh, I'll, I'll put a smaller wet recipe on here for you guys if you don't want to do this huge batch. I've just been making these all day, so easier to explain it this way. But uh, this is four cups of corn syrup. Just gonna open that up. I'm gonna dump this whole thing in there. Yeah, that looks delicious. It really doesn't. Alright. Get in there. It's hanging on for dear life. Alright, now you're going to want to mix that all in. Oop, I am making a mess everywhere today. That's the other thing. See the newspaper? Use some of it. It's a good idea. Don't, don't not use the newspaper. You're going to make a huge mess everywhere. And, uh, if you're living with other people, they don't appreciate the mess everywhere. All over their house. So, don't make a mess. So, mix all that in there. Show you. Hopefully, I won't drop the camera. There it is. Mmm. This really looks disgusting. I wouldn't want to eat this. Although, actually, this is completely edible. So, if you have a craving for corn syrup and water and some other stuff, go right ahead and you just drink this whole bottle of it, alright? Just go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Alright. For the small recipe with one cup of the cornstarch, you're just going to want one of these bottles. But uh, that, that's two tablespoons of red food coloring. But of course for this, since we got four cups, we're going to need four bottles. So yeah, four bottles of this. Just red food coloring. It's a little bit expensive sometimes, especially if you're using as much as I'm using. Bought about 16 or more bottles of this. For making all this for a haunted trail and uh yeah it's a lot seriously i had to go to like five different stores just to buy this many bottles it's ridiculous don't try buying this much at halloween it's a bad idea it really is just don't do it all right another thing not to do so add four of these in if you're doing the four cup method that i'm doing right here all right Cap all these. Alright. And of 
course it's not going to open all nice. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Oh, just dump that right in there. And next photo. Again, not opening nicely. Got these little crappy plastic seals in there that won't let you in. They have to make things so much so difficult, don't they? Lazy. You can be lazy like me and just stab it. It works too. There you go. And then, pretty sure you can guess what you're doing next. You're mixing it in. Oh. I'm about to make a mess everywhere, probably. Make sure you mix it in really well, or that food dye will sit on top of this and not mix in. I mean, that's looking pretty good so far, but we're not done, done adding stuff. Uh, you actually have to add, where'd I put it? Oh, yellow food dye. And uh, for this, we're gonna need four teaspoons. Probably gonna have to get another bottle. I've halfway used up this one. Yep, that one's empty. Always have extra. Again, lazy. And number four. All right. And again, mix it in. going. Again, I'll try not to drop you. Go swimming in a pool of fake blood. And there we go. Try and get that yellow dye off the sides. Make sure you get all of it in. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be putting it back in the bottle I got it out of. But that's not all. I actually kind of forgot to do something. Um, add in one drop of black food coloring. Um, this will actually darken it up and make it a little bit, actually a lot more like blood. Before it was just kind of red. Now it's the correct, you know, dark red color that you should be getting from blood. Um, so sorry about that. Good thing I didn't post this video up yet. Um, just, you know, work and other stuff. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, God, I say that a lot. Ignore me. Um, anyways, if you want, you can follow me on DeviantArt if you haven't already. Or you can follow me on my YouTube. Um, I also have a Tumblr. I will put those links down somewhere, maybe on the screen if I can figure that out, or below in the description. Click on them, follow, see what I'm up to. Thanks, and uh, happy late Halloween, whatever time of the year it is you're watching this video. Might be Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Have a very bloody Christmas.